Hidden away in the stunning landscapes of Payson Tonto Natural Bridge State Park has been in the making for thousands of years. It's the largest travertine bridge in the world. Yeah, this place is so amazing and beautiful. Visitors there can stand on top of that bridge or you can even hike down for a great view of the breathtaking destination. And our drone pilot Joe Tillman shows us more today. Hi, I'm Micah Kippel, park ranger at Tano Natural Bridge. We are at Tano Natural Bridge State Park, um, which was Arizona's 26th state park, bought in 1990. It is a 160-acre park surrounding the world's largest travertine natural bridge. It's 185 feet high, 150 feet wide, and 400 feet through, uh, with two million years of history, a plethora of animals and wildlife, and years of human history. Tano Natural Bridge State Park, Arizona's 26th state park, is named for the large natural bridge in the center of the park, the largest travertine natural bridge on the planet. Travertine, you could think of it like recycled limestone. So water percolating down through the rock layers um, above us uh, dissolve calcium out of the limestone rock. And then as that water uh, re-emerges as the natural spring in the park, it redeposits that calcium as travertine, which has built up over hundreds of thousands of years to form the natural bridge that we see today. You can access the natural bridge uh, easy ways or hard ways. We have a half mile of paved walking paths that will take you to four developed viewpoints. You can see the bridge and look through it from the top without doing any strenuous hiking. And then we have about a mile and a quarter of dirt hiking trails that descend down into the canyon and underneath the natural bridge. Those trails are short, but they are not easy. They are steep, rocky, hotter than you think, and slippery under the bridge. So you want good shoes, lots of water, and know your limits. Underneath the natural bridge, many people refer to it as an overland cave. You will have stalactites of stalagmites like you see at Karchner Caverns State Parks and other caves around Arizona. Uh, Pine Creek is flowing through it and it is perennial in this uh, spot of the creek bed uh, due to our flowing springs. Uh, under the bridge you might be lucky and see things such as rock squirrels or uh, kawadi and a number of bird species that use the bridge as a nesting site in the summer. Natural Bridge, as part of this continental skill, biogeographic crossroads, has a plethora of wildlife. And one of our more popular animals is the javelina, or collared peccary. These are a southwest staple that are distantly related to pigs, but don't call them pigs, they'll get offended. There's a herd of about 20 of them, or if you want to impress your friends at a party, you can call them by their other official grouping, a squadron of javelinas. Uh, they usually give birth to sets of twins that are a orangey red color. They are herbivores mostly, eating a diet of seeds, nuts, and fruit. After you're done visiting Tonto Natural Bridge, we hope that you have taken away just how special both the history of this park is with our old uh, guest ranch and how magnificent this natural bridge is. It's used truly one of a kind. There's nothing else like it in North America or around the world. And we have it here for Arizonans and people all around uh, the world to come and enjoy every year. Wow, great work by Amazing. drone pilot Joe Tillman there. Yeah. I have a feeling a lot of people are going to want to go check this out now after seeing this. The park opens at 9 a.m. and the last entry is at 4 p.m. They say to bring plenty of water and good hiking shoes. If you'd like to check out more Drone Zone stories, just scan the QR code on your screen or you can head to fox10phoenix.com slash drone zone.